Covering New Haven County, a piece of history will be removed today from the city of Derby. The last cobblestone street will be paved. News 8's Ken Pierce live for us on that street. Ken, good morning. Good morning, Laura and Keith. The best guess is that this part of Caroline Street has looked like this for about 300 years, covered in cobblestones, also known as Belgian blocks. Sure, it's pretty to look at, but if you had to drive down this in your 21st century car, well, you might want to rip these cobblestones up too. And ripping them up is exactly what the city of Derby is going to be doing starting today. A local history buff tells us the stones were used as ballast in 18th century sailing ships coming here from Europe. When the ships got here, they didn't need the ballast anymore, and they started paving the roads with those blocks. For years, there's been just this one small stretch of Caroline Street that still had cobblestones in the city of Derby. The city had been waffling about what to do with the Belgian blocks, but the complaints from people who live around here just kept piling up. It's uh, very steep. Even when it's not snowing and it's just raining, the Belgian blocks get very slippery. It's really just a, a road that's been neglected, and I think if people had to shovel it like I have throughout the years to get out of here, they would see there's really no benefit. Shoveling not easy, plowing also a problem. Imagine the blade of a plow truck going over those stones after a snowstorm, not easy. As someone who lived in Derby for 14 years, I can tell you I would never drive down this block of Caroline Street. I would always try to go around it. And it's not like it's in some remote section of the city either. Right there is Route 34, the busiest street in town. One block that way is City Hall. So it's kind of right in the center of things. Lauren Keith. Sounds like it is progress, Ken. That's an awful lot of stone out there. Do you know what they're going to do with all the stones when they pull them up? Sort of, not entirely, but they're going to pry up these stones, store them somewhere for a while, and repave this street. What they're going to do with the stones somewhere down the line, they're going to put them out somewhere in the city, not as paving material, but as maybe some part of a history exhibit about the city of Derby. Oh, All right, Ken Pierce, thank you. Covering new